Yo, what's going on guys? Mush back at it with another video. Want to go over a bunch of free game news. We've got a free-to-play Warhammer game that just got announced. Like, as far as Warhammer games, we got we got Kart Riders now, or Kart Combat games. And they, they be doing everything with Warhammer. We'll talk about that. Uh, the alpha is available right now. You can sign up, and the playtest is open to everybody. We'll talk about that. The game will ultimately will be free-to-play. Mobile Suit Gundam Battle Operation 2 for PC will be launching soon, so if you need to get your mecha action on, that will be dropping here very shortly, and a free playable prologue is available right now, so we'll talk all about that. That'll be coming again in October, right after Alan Wake 2, so if you're a fan of some horror titles, uh, might be some stuff to look into. All right, first of all, Warhammer 40k Speed Freaks, the uh, playtest is live right now, the alpha blaze into the high octane, orctane, excuse me, oh my god, we got puns here, mayhem of crashing speed mobs in adrenaline, fuel combat racing through the brutal Warhammer 40k universe, driving scrappy vehicles loaded with bombastic weapons and powerful abilities, a breakneck, full throttle speed away to the death. Again, the free alpha is available right now, and the 41st millennium a cult of unhinged speed obsessed orcs have emerged from their endless waz they call themselves the speed freaks addicted to the sound of roaring engines blistering speed suffocating smoke whipping winds and scorching fire these freaks bring their supercharged mob of war torn buggies bikes tanks and turks into the speedway Players assemble their mob of wagons, pushing them to victory to across multiple maps in an explosively unique take on the combat, racing, and shooter genres. Obliterate your orc foes with cunning strategies and brute force as your team speed towards ultimate glory. This Steam page is just filled with puns, and I'm uh, I'm really not about it right now. Are you looking for more speed and more in your life? Look no further. Uh, Class-based racing and shooter gameplay. Choose from various classes of vehicles, including killers, tanks, and support wagons, each with distinct abilities that target a variety of playstyles with seven unique uh, vehicles. You'll always find one that caters to your current gaming mood, especially if it's just wanting to make things go boom. Intense multiplayer mayhem. Bring out your biggest and flashiest DACA and fight your way to the finish in chaotic 16 player matches featuring a variety of badass vehicles to choose from and richly decorated maps to battle in. No two matches ever turn out the same. Epic game mode, Speed Freaks Alpha game mode is a hard hitting combat racing conquest that ends in a glorious sprint to the finish. A fresh take on the vehicular shooter genre. This mode has players racing to capture points while they battle it out for the bigger score. Snazzy visuals as well feast draws on speedy and explosive chaos powered by Unreal Engine 5. As far as system requirements go, you're looking at an i5-2500 or a Ryzen 1300X, 4 gigs of RAM, a GTX 1650, an RX-570, and then recommended i7-7700K, Ryzen 3600. Jumps all the way to 16 gigabytes of RAM and an RTX 2080 or an RX-6700. So, a beefy requirements as far as recommended goes. Again, uh, the alpha is live right now, and ultimately the game will be free to play when it does drop, and it just has the coming soon tag, so no official date yet. Moving on from that, finally we have a date for Mobile Suit Gundam Battle Operation 2. Bandai Namco has officially announced Mobile Suit Battle uh, Gundam Battle Operation 2 will launch for PC via Steam on May 30th, 10 p.m. Pacific Time, 1 a.m. Eastern Time. So, uh, you know, you can look at it May 31st or May 30th, however, whatever zone you live in. Uh, this is a free-to-play team-based action game based on the Mobile Suit Gundam series of the Universal Century. Whether uh, by land or by space, I'll lay waste to your foes using either your favorite Mobile Suit or Rome the battlefield as infantry and capture important objectives. Maximum 6v6 online battles join players around the globe in 6v6 team online battles on realistic battlefields. Infantry combat, mobile suits aren't the only heroes on the battlefield. Take on the role of a pilot that can place bombs in enemy bases or request support fire to contribute to the cause. Acquire and customize mobile suits. Acquire new mobile suits using your DP you earn from matches or by using purchase tokens from our weekly surprise drops. Once acquired, develop your mobile suit by customizing specific parts and weapons or unlocking other important abilities through the hangar. Base camp and online lobby where you can connect with players from around the world. As a pilot, you can strengthen your mobile suit and prepare for various battles in the base camp. In addition, you can freely interact with various war buddies on the road. System requirements for this, an i5-3470, AMD Ryzen 3 1200, 8GB of RAM, GTX 1050Ti, or an R9-280X, that's for uh, 1080p 30fps with low settings, and then you're looking at an i5-3470, Ryzen 3 1200, 8GB of RAM, GTX 780, RX-570 for recommended. However, the recommended is is for 1080p 30 so you probably need something a little bit beefier if you are looking for optimal settings so there you go with that uh the game has been out on playstation 5 and 4 going back to 2018 so nice of it finally to be, to be dropping officially on pc i believe they had a test uh period a little while ago but now 
you'll be able to check out the full release uh, come May 30th, May 31st, if you're over here in the East Coast. Uh, you can preload the game right now, so go ahead and check that out as well. And lastly, the Alone in the Dark reboot, coming from THQ Nordic and developer Pieces Interactive, will be coming October 25th for $59.99, and uh, there is a, a free playable prologue that is available right now. If you're into atmospheric horror games, this is one to have on your radar. The standalone prologue puts you in the tiny shoes of Grace Saunders, an 11-year-old girl delivering a letter when things go horribly wrong, experience the unique 1920s horror atmosphere of Alone in the Dark and prepare for the terror that awaits in Dersetto Manor. Alone in the Dark again coming on October the 25th. As far as system requirements for this, which will give us an idea of what the game uh, will ultimately require, i5-8400, Ryzen 5 2600X, uh, 8 gigabytes of RAM, GTX 970, and RX 570 for minimum. Recommended is an i7 8700K and a Ryzen 5 3600. 16 gigs of RAM as well in GTX 2060 or an AMD RX 5700. So, experience the haunting manor atmosphere of the manor where psychological horror meets southern gothic from the seemingly innocent perspective of Grey Saunders. Dive into the eldritch nightmare of Alone in the Dark in this exclusive first taste of Alone in the Dark's full experience. Again, this is a full-on reboot. If you make it to the end, be ready for a very special surprise. Grace agrees and embarks on a short yet memorable trip through a wing of the manor invaded by a presence which appears to have emerged from the dark depths of the bayou. And again, the full game will be dropping October 25th. We'll see how this turns out. Alone in the Dark has never been one of the premier horror franchises, but THQ Nordic has been like reviving a lot of games that, you know, some of them do surprisingly really well, like the SpongeBob games and you know, Alone in the Dark and Spongebob, two very distinct IPs, but uh, we'll see how this one turns out. Again, October 25th, the release of this, and the system requirements for the full game aren't out yet, so who knows if the prologue version is going to be indicative of the final release. Uh, but deep in the 1920s South, Emily Hartwood's uncle has gone missing together with private investigator Edward Carnby. She embarks on a journey to the manor, a home of the mentally ill where something is lurking. You'll encounter strange residents, nightmarish realms, dangerous monsters, and ultimately uncover a plot of rising evil at the intersection of reality mystery and insanity and adventure waits that will challenge your core beliefs who can you trust and what will you believe and what will you do next again that is out october 25th free prologue out right now and that's gonna do it for me warhammer 40k speed freaks is enjoying a free alpha right now you can join that play test if you're interested and it will be coming soon mobile suit gundam battle operation 2 will be dropping on may 31st and alone in the dark is a free prequel available right now and the official release will be coming october 25th that's going to do it for me let me know all of your thoughts in the comment section down below thanks for watching and i will catch you guys in the next one peace out Hey, what's going on guys? Mush here again. Hope you enjoyed the video. As you guys might know, YouTube's notification system is sometimes a little bit wonky, even if you're subscribed to the channel. Maybe you're not abundantly aware that I uploaded a video to remedy that situation. Make sure you hit the bell notification button. This way, whenever I upload a new video and I try to upload as consistently as possible, you will be notified directly of the upload and you can watch it as soon as it goes live. I would really appreciate if you guys hit that button so you can stay up to date with all of the the content I'm posting. But as always, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.